For what? You're not a picture media. Yes, I am. According to who? You got a press bag? I got my whole press bag, bro. This is my company. I'm an independent journalist. Oh, wait, wait. You can't be here. You got to have a press bag. Of course. A press bag from where? Who issues a press bag? I don't know who it is. I, I just got it from. Then how do I get one if you can't? How, how? I'm media. Look, how, you how, don't have a press badge. So I don't need a press badge to be yeah, media. No, I don't. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is News Now Ninja. And today's video comes to you from Dalton, Illinois, where Tiffany Henry and her goons have been under heavy scrutiny by everybody from mainstream media to independent journalists. And the most disturbing part is that the videos don't seem to be getting better, but quite in fact the opposite, because it seems with each video that comes out, they double down with tyranny. Shout out to the Real Late Night Crew channel for documenting this situation and bringing it to the public's attention. Because one of Tiffany's goons is about to try to intimidate this man and he's gonna stand his ground. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments section and let's get straight to the action. As you can see here, before the meeting starts, Tiffany Henry comes out, sits down, and as you can see, she gazes right over into our camera. We're the only people back there recording at that time. She motions over for William Moore, department head, William Moore turns, looks over his shoulder at me, and then within 30 seconds, this happens. I heard Lacey be at these meetings, but I have not seen him. Hey, boo. Okay. For what? You're not a picture of me. Yes, I am. Right According to who? Well, you According to who? This <laughs> John's okay, I ain't needing it. Of course, I ain't. Yes, yes, I am. You got a press bag? I got my whole press bag, bro. This is my company. I'm an independent journalist. Oh, wait, wait, you can't be here. You gotta have a press bag. A, court, a press bag from where? Who issues a press bag? I don't know who it is. I, I just got it from. Then the how do I get one if you can't? How? how I'm media. Look, how, how, you don't have a press bag. I don't need a press badge to be yeah, media. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need a press bag. That's you just made that up, bro. I don't no, need a press bag. Okay. Please. Please. I need a press badge to be press. They're, they don't issue press badges. Yeah. Uh, I got it. Appreciate you. Um, we are happy to if you have not uh, registered or made the back of the first card. Please, we will start in the next two minutes. We'll give everybody opportunity to get going. We're not going back, and you must be a joint parent to present in order to get there. Uh, please don't put them away from the back of the left. Uh, you're right. If you don't have one, you need to go get one. And then we will be in two minutes. Thank you. Before all the people are actually going to start the town hall meeting, uh, just so you know how it works, um, we will vote on a moderator. The moderator will go to the day to day and the to this meeting. All right, listen to what that guy just said. Here's the deal. You don't have to leave, but I have to stand in front of your camera because I'm doing what I was told. So that means that he was instructed to stand in front of this man's camera. But by who? And for what reason? Y'all let me know what you think in the comment section.
I work. Um, we will work on a moderator. The moderator will come to the day to day that relates to this meeting. And then you guys have the opportunity to I do talk. So I'm, I'm just asking questions. I ain't mad at you, bro. I'm not talking about the rules, but uh, they don't want to work. You can, like, who's saying this so I can know who I can say this to? So whoever can say this, they're violating the First Amendment rights. Okay. Where do I get this ID from? That's not a real thing. That's not a conversation. That's not a real thing. They won't, they, they're, they're, they're getting you in trouble. I'm just telling you. They're going to get you in trouble. That's why they're telling you to do it, and they're not doing it. Blatant suppression. All right. Blatant media suppression. Y'all see evening, it. Everyone. 3, people well, for Great the record, job. in accordance with state statute, legal notice of the annual meeting township. Therefore, anyone wishing to make a motion, second a motion, ask a question, make a comment, or otherwise address the chair must stay clearly. All right, you can't even make this stuff up. This man is wearing a hat that says freedom while he's attempting to suppress a man of his freedoms. Shout out to the Relay Night crew for standing his ground against this tyranny. Their full name and address for verification of residency. Now, I'm asking for nominations from the floor for a moderator to conduct this meeting. I'll make a nomination. Hey, Tiffany, what's, what's going on? You All those cameras back there, the guy with the cheapest camera, the shortest camera stand, the smallest camera bag. Why was my camera so intimidating? Why was me being there was a problem? Why did you send William Moore to come talk to me? And why was he too scared to ever even approach me? Even Keith Freeman was afraid to approach me. Yeah, you were involved too, sir. William Moore, Keith Freeman, and Tiffany Henry conspired with Officer Morris of the South Holland Police Department to use a security guard to violate my First Amendment rights. And it's all on camera. You just saw it right there. And to prove everything I even said, hey, Norris, wasn't this your fault that my First Amendment uh, rights got violated? Hey, guy, gang, open the township. Oh. Please release it. What's your name and badge Please number? Please release it. Right. Morris. Release the body. Morris, what's your badge Why number? Why you you bad? Bad? Because you violated my First Amendment rights on camera. Yes, you, you did. You yes, you did. What's your badge number? I don't know. Okay, bet. I got you, sir. And obviously, Moore, I know it was your job to harass the media. That's why you did the same thing to Melanie Jongsma of the Lansing Journal, who you did the exact same way. You can check out her article in the description as well. I literally told the security guard that they were going to do that. That's why they had him come over there to violate my rights. They set up a, a perimeter around me, including the one chick that looks like NBA young boy. I feel like I'm Gucci in 2006. Along with Otis, the security guard, who's famous from several other videos in Thornton Township. They were all sitting at a table right next to me. I guess they were calling themselves trying to intimidate me or make me leave or something like that. Well, did it work? Did I leave? But let's get into it, though. Why did you want me to leave? Is it because I like to show videos on my channel like this? Jacqueline Smith and her two children called this hotel room home for almost a month. Ever since the Dalton house they were renting from village trustee Tiffany Henyard was slapped with this. A big red sign that I cannot live there because it's unlivable. Everybody get to the link in the description to see the entirety of this video. You do not want to miss it. Make sure and let the late night crew know that News Now Ninja sent you. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button on the way out and I'll see you on the next one.